July summer school season two is finally back on Max. So let's go over the top five moments that you miss in episode one of the Pretty Little Liar summer series. Let's go. <laughs> Mouse over here is big addiction to this website called Spooky Spaghetti. I see the big plot season two. Number four, Kelly over here is somehow brainwashed. Even though in the episode she claimed that she isn't brainwashed, she is definitely brainwashed. Number three, so the town has viewed Chip as a victim, not as a villain, based on his action what he did in the previous season. Number four. The first like five minutes of the episode as an Archie confirmed that allegedly like Chip has passed away, died, was stabbed. And Sheriff has also been stabbed by Archie, allegedly. Take it with a grain of salt. She has murdered almost everybody from all the girls that have an original sin from except for Imogen's baby. Number five. The answer is that Imogen didn't give her baby to Ezria as we know from the season one finale. She gave it to this cute gay couple. But she didn't give away to Ezra because clearly see him. He gives like weird vibes. For the top five moments that you miss in Pretty Little Liars Summer School Season 2 Episode 2. Number five. We met lots of the romantic new interests of the season. First one we met was Christian, which is going to be um, Abby's romantic interest or best friend. We shall see. He has the same love of horror movies similar to Tabby, and he's like basically a film geek. But to host a private screening just for her to film to showcase her film about her. Um... Number four, Sandy, the character in this episode, so part of the church cult with Kelly as passed away or died from Bloody Rose by being stabbed when waiting for Greg to meet her up so they can really have sex. Number three. In this episode, we were introduced with Norris over here of interest, who she met in Juby. I forgot what her name is. Kind of fur. You kind of see the love triangle between her and Sean and fur. Number two. Poor Imogen. Imogen is slowly having hallucination. This is part of her hallucination. Dr. Sullivan has been giving her like medication to calm down her anxiety. So with these medications, she's been seeing Rose. She's just having an episode. Number Lastly, the liars have been getting Rose from Bloody Rose, seriously. And they also have been getting this unknown color too. Which I think they are smart enough to ignore. Here's what you miss in Pretty Little Liars Summer School Season Season 2 Episode 3. Spoiler alert, of course. Number 5. This scene we're introduced to Imogen's potential new romance. They work together in this ice cream shop. And he's kind of giving me like a boy vibe. Like at this work, you can see with this picture. Just like uh, being with other girls. Of course, was annoyed by that. So there's that. They are treated with this like shirtless look with her scene in this episode though. Number 4. Tabby went to Christian's basement. Creeps because it's giving me similar to Chip. This is what she discovered. She discovered this uh, BS ass. She found out that Christian is actually obsessed with spaghetti. And that definitely creeped out Tabby. Potentially a suspect. So that's what we discover. We'll find out that his parents are actually special people. So they made Max. He has a whole collection of masks in his. Man, there's that. In a but we shall see. Number three. Darren was the gem of this episode. One of them is she finally confessed to her boyfriend. Her lying that she basically quit dancing. That she's totally fine. It's just that it gives her emotional trauma. There's a good boyfriend. Not upset with her. Emotionally invest with her. And then just left. Don't want to go to Max's birthday party. Since a breakup is gonna happen soon. Number two. So the entire episode is leading towards Mouse's sweet 16 birthday party. Their liars a uh, surprise um birthday party. Rolling rolling alley, which is so cute of them. So bad because Mouse was just like just want to do something for her birthday and like people were scared that they discovered that phone number was phone number was leaked in spooky spaghetti. You know, thank God, but they were scared for their own public fun. Number one is Mouse got like five nights of Freddy like and stuff. So they just interact with the five liars. Mouse is the first one. So she received a letter of note that's saying like you go hide and seek or you will be killed or something like that. Of course she survived. The episode ends with a fire happening and Mouse telling the liars that the game is happening yet again. Here's what you miss in Pretty Little Liars Summer School Season 2 Episode 4. Let's go! Number 5. We got 
a second chance from the film festival like TIFF or something like that. Accepted to create another short film. Perfect opportunity because as we know in the first episode, it was rejected because of the content that she made. So she had another chance to make another one. Coincidence how the project that she made where the idea of her and Chip had before. So we saw a flashback of that. And like some of the episodes of her making her like short film. We'll see where that goes. Number four. Imogen was asked from um the gay one of the dads babysit her daughter over the night because because one of the gay dads like mom passed away so they had to go has to babysit and then sir because one of the dads told her that the, the window was open mysteriously scared for her life that she thought that she was going to be the next final girl game by bloody rose but it wasn't the case she was all scared for nothing other than her um, potential love interest just came to a supportive boyfriend I wonder if this is her supportive boyfriend anyway number three dr selvin was in the hospital because one mysteriously on the stairs after she was left from work. Obviously, after the life said they want to have an emergency meeting because of what happened mouse incident from last episode. But as of right now, she is in the hospital being babysit by Imogen. Number two. Bloody Rose tested and with her final girl game, that's what I'm gonna call it, was asked to lift this thingy for like under two min hours, I wish two minutes, two hours, to test her strength. If she puts it down, then somebody that she loves will die. So this ends with her being physical with Bloody Rose, her having her little final girl sequence. So she ended up being like scared and of course she survived the chase, but that was such the most physical liars has ever physically interact with Bloody Rose. And she almost like got her, remove her mask. So number one, we found out that Rose's daughter, AKA Angela's mom is Dr. Sullivan's patient at Bradley. So this could mean there is some connections over here. In the episode, the last half of Mao is trying to contract Rose Water. Rose Water is like committed suicide, similar to what Mona was gonna do in the A. Feel that, that she was actually her patient. So maybe Dr. Sullivan will have some answers. Cares about her or this Bloody Rose. Maybe that Bloody Rose is in rose waters so see that it's somebody that's impersonating you know the mythology and just getting out the liars but we shall see five top things that you miss in pretty liar summer school season two episode five let's go Spoiler alert of course number five henry and farron finally broke up thank the kelly church for making her broke up Aaron asked Henry about, like, will you be willing to give up this cult to be with me? And then he, of course, denied it. So that's why they officially broke up. So we can rejoice. Number four. So in this episode, we found out that Imogen's dad is stating this woman, but engaged to freaking Rebecca. And Imogen was asked to have dinner with them. And then we found out that shot, she is wearing Imogen's mom, which of course made Imogen go crazy as she should, because what the F? Dinner ends with great dad telling her to leave. She is, you know, traumatized and stuff. Jin told him that to please never reach out to her ever again because of that situation. I hate her because look at this face. Ugh, she bloody rose. Number three. So in this episode, Noah finally gets her test of a final girl. Being asked by Buddy Rose to be in this forest alone. To receive a letter mysteriously with Jenna. Jen? Which is very mysterious. Ask her to either um, break up with one of them or else one of them will die. Being asked to go here and then, however, she was being chased by this freaking dog by Bloody Rose. When did she have time to get this dog? Like, what the hell? This said Nora just running barefoot being like um stabbed by like vines and like stuff like that because it happened because they told her to take off shoes it ends again with Jen picking her up like similar to the sequence of friday the night you know spend her like with the love triangle situation i just wish i should finally tell sean because it's really what happened to her number two so in this episode we found out that dr sullivan has been secretly recording the liars they were very pissed because they found that that writing a book about advertising adolescent or something like that like as a rival book so the the liars weren't really happy about that so they to cut heads with her as a therapist but this is a big easter egg for pll ogs like me that when the liars were searching in her office to find out she's body rose i don't think she's body rose but let's see here the dr sullivan <laughs> sullivan still has the liars file so we saw aria Anna, emily and spencer i was screaming when i saw this on my screen ah also, as a real therapist, she cannot really say about history behind her treatment with rose water. So, we shall see. Her one. So, apparently, there's this bloody rose, like, cult or fan base that is hinting that a reckoning is coming soon. 
can see here all everybody has like uh they were asked to like mark their forehead and you can see here mouse's lola is part of this cult and she seems very about it so we'll find out soon what this thing is which is very creepy what an episode we only have three episodes left so let me know comments below what is your top five moments you love about this episode and the shocking ones who thought what your theory is Ugh. Boop. oh my god she is oh, she is one of my favorites oh. wait that's it okay 